This is why the Bandai Namco continues to get a lot of bad press when it comes to this game. Hell, any game that they tend to release has some form of predatory marketing or some kind of exchange. Almost like mobifying. That's not even a word. But it's like they're trying to make their games in terms of the marketing parts of the game. Like the store or the cash shop or whatever they call it in their games. To be almost like mobile-esque. Right now, the new patches came in, and new stuff has been added into the Tekken shop. So, if we go to the Tekken shop, we now have new costumes. Now, before we even mention the crates that you see right now on screen, they have new costumes, they have a biker type of, like, motif for the males and the females in the game. That sounds like a, that sounds like an insult when I say that. And you already know that they already added the other types of costumes, the ones with the kind of Hawaiian theme that it has. And okay, look great for 400 Tekken coins, right? Now, now they've added this, the crates. Now, this was already data mined. I have never spoken about stuff like this because I don't really give a shit, but I feel like I have to at least address it because sooner than later, we're going to see more of this in the future. It might even be more egregious in the way that they do things because if you look at the costumes that are in this crate, these are not loot boxes. I have to mention that these are not loot boxes. People thought that these were going to be loot boxes, but these are crates. These are just simply bundles packed in with extra stuff or stuff they already had in the game. So if we click on this one, we see that there is a Kazuya costume and a Gen costume. These are old costumes. Now, from what I can remember, these costumes were sold separately for the people that wanted to buy them. Now. If I were to go out, and let's say I were to go and click on Kazuya. Do you see the costume here? Oh no, it's in the bundle. So, this bundle carries over two costumes. One for Kazuya and one for Jin, for 400 Tekken coins. Now, it's going through a discount for 50%. And that means that makes it that it's 800 Tekken coins. Now, if we check again exactly how many Tekken coins that we need, since we need 800, or at least let's say in this case 400, to get 400 Tekken coins, you can't purchase the $3 uh, version of it, $2.99 USD. You need to buy the $5 one so you can get exactly 500 coins so that way you can then buy this discounted uh crate bundle but if let's say if in the future there is no discount for these costumes you'll have to then purchase a 10 dollar version of the tekken coins you want only 800 right but you need to buy this one because this is the only one they have available to you to purchase you can't buy it exactly the amount that the costumes are worth. You gotta buy what they are offering you to then get the product. So for $10, you get around 1,050 Tekken coins. So that means that you'll be still left out with around 250 coins. It's fine if maybe you want to buy something extra. Maybe they are thinking of doing this. So that way you can go ahead and buy yourself maybe a discounted Brian avatar that for one makes no sense to me because in any other fighting game my voice cracked my bad for any other fighting game that i have purchased and that i have seen others play if they have some kind of tekken lounge uh replica that we that those games have right or in the case of guilty gear or whatever they all have the ability to pick your characters your favorite you know character and use them as your avatar in some shape or format in this game, you can't even do that. They don't even give you the characters, the avatars, for free, or if you can unlock unlock later down the line. You can't even do that. You gotta buy them. You have to buy them in order for you to then use them. And so, even these that you see on screen, these are worth 100 Tekken coins, but if they're off sale, not off sale, they're on sale for 75% off. Meaning that these actually cost 400 Tekken coins. And again, as I just showcased, to buy 400 Tekken coins, you have to buy the $5 one that gives you 500 Tekken coins. You can't just buy a $400, uh, <laughs> did I say $400? <laughs> you can't buy a 400 Tekken coin version of the packet that you want to buy. Meaning that the costumes that you want and even the avatars that you want, which mind you, if you're spending this to buy avatars in the game, I mean, you can go ahead and do so. It's your money. Do whatever the hell you want with your money. I just think that to support a company that would do this, all, all these avatars should have been in the game for free. All of this should have been for free. 
but it's not. And then the costumes that you can buy separately, like again, the Jun and Xiao Yu costumes. These were available for separate purchases and now they're not. Because now they decided to just add them into the crate. And they're selling it for half off. When they, when they decide that this is no longer half off and it's not worth $8 essentially, right? You still have to buy the $10 Tekken coin packet in order to buy this if you wanted to buy it for 800 Tekken coins. But does this mean that future legacy costumes will be then kind of like vaulted into this bundle packet that you can't buy separately for 400 Tekken coins for $4. Again, had to buy the $5 version in order to get 500 Tekken coins because there's no 400 version in order for you to get the costumes that you want, but you can't even get them because they're probably going to be vaulted into this bundle system, this crate system, so that you can then buy two costumes, one of the costumes that you, you don't even need, that you don't even want. And I can see that this is going to happen in the future. Now, here's the thing. Because they're going through this like mobile-esque type of marketing practices that they're doing to the Tekken shop, and I know there's other games that, that they own, that Bandai Namco owns, that they're doing the same exact thing to those games. And again, I don't really give a shit because it's their game. If they're gonna add these things into the game, in another day, we don't have to purchase them. These are just microtransactions. What I really find egregious is that when you go into the Tekken 5 Pass, right? The battle pass of this game. What do we have here? I already completed everything. I don't. I didn't buy the premium because I'm not gonna waste what, like, what, four dollars for this? Is it four dollars or five dollars? I think it's like six dollars or some shit like that to get the battle pass, the premium one. And I see nothing in here that I want. Nothing. If we go all the way to the beginning and search through the premium pass, I see nothing in here that I want. And again, if we go all the way at the end, there's some new eye like changes or whatever, uh, afros, which again, they could have just easily added it in as free, but nope. And then the last thing they can get is this, which is not even unisex. You can't get this for the, for the males. This is only for the females in the game. All, all the ladies and not for all the guys. And I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be paired with something else. I don't know what it was, to be honest. But the whole point is, is that there's nothing great in the battle pass. But they're willing to add new costumes into the Tekken shop that you'll have to purchase for 400 Tekken coins. $4. Again, have to buy the $5 pack to even have enough uh, Tekken coins to buy this. Instead of just adding it in into the battle pass. Like that, that would have made the battle pass a lot more, I, I don't even know how to explain it. It, it. it makes it have more value. But instead, these costumes that you have here, all these costumes, even the, the Hawaiian theme costume, the biker theme costumes, the vacation pack costumes, the the uh, WWE WrestleMania like costumes that you have, the ninja one, all of these. I, I, I like the cyber one, but I never really bought it for myself, so I'm not gonna bother. All of these could have been in the battle pass. Not all of them, like, you know, every new battle pass will have like at least two of these or some shit like that to incentivize people to actually buy the battle pass. I have no reason to buy the battle pass because I see nothing there that I find that has any value to me that I'd like for to add to my characters. And the ones that are have that do have value, I have to waste $4 for. No, nope, again, $5. Yeah, I gotta purchase to then get them. And then now with these crates, Whatever new kind of legacy costume that they add in the game. Hell, I can even see them just adding the newer costumes or even the ones that they already showcased that they already implemented into the game, like the Cyber Pack, the Shinobi Pack, might be vaulted all, all together and adding them in crates. And then once in a while during the month, it might just make them in a discount for 50% off or whatever the case is. So that way you don't have to waste 800 Tekken coins to purchase one of the costume packs that you may want. With the free one added in, it's a freebie, I guess, but it's not really free because you're literally wasting 800 Tekken coins unless they're on a discount. I can already see that this game is going to have no value for those that want to customize, for the casuals, basically. I don't really care. I can customize with, with, with what I have now in the character creation, right? I don't care. But whatever new thing that they decide to add to the game for cosmetics, it's gonna either be one, something new, or these costumes might end up being vaulted into the crate system that they have now, and then they're gonna be worth twice the amount, which makes no sense, to be honest, when you think about it. Like, this should be 75% off to really have some great value, because if I remember correctly, these costumes, these legacy costumes, they were already worth 400 Tekken coins separately. So once the discount is gone, and if this is still here, as an $800, <laughs> 
<laughs> I did it again. A 800 Tekken coin uh, priced cosmetic to get both of these cosmetics. Then that means that you won't be able to buy this separately if you want this separately. You have to buy both of the costumes that you one of them that you may not even want for 800 Tekken coins. So in my opinion, it's obvious that what they're, they're trying to do. They're being greedy, in my opinion. They're being greedy. In a game that's already worth $70 or more if you're buying like the season pass and all that shit. All, all of these costumes and all these avatars that they're adding into the game could have easily been free, but instead no. Past Tekken games have more cosmetics. I think Tekken 6 had the, had the most out of all the Tekken games. The Tekken Tag Tournament 2 game or even, I don't know, I think it was the stack and Tekken 6 that legitimately had a bunch of cosmetics. And it's like ever since Tekken 7, they just downgraded. They downgraded, they added less cosmetics, and now in Tekken 8, even less. And just because you can kind of like switch around the costumes and, and the outfits in the game through the character customization uh, mechanic doesn't mean that in the end of the day, there really isn't much in terms of variables we can go about when it comes to dressing up your character because almost all of the characters would be dressed the same. There's no variation. I really do feel that they're just going with the bare minimum with this game when it comes to the cosmetics. And again, you don't have to buy any of this. You don't have to. But it, it just means that whatever they add to the game now for cosmetic reasons, it's not going to be in the battle pass and it's not going to be free either. Or even a, maybe a free legacy costume, like an alternate legacy costume that we can get. Like, I would like to see Yoshimitsu's like Tekken 5 alternate costume, where he's all like skin and bones, and he's all blue. You know that skin? I would like that to be free. Or maybe add into the battle pass and, and when, when they do the next season. That would be nice. But nope, nope, they don't do that. They won't do it. They won't do it because they're being greedy. This is to me, that all it shows to me is greed. And again, these, these are cosmetics, so you don't have to buy them. You don't have to buy them. But whatever they may add into the game's cosmetics, it will never be free. They'll never incentivize uh, something in the game besides if they do some kind of weird uh, collaboration or some shit like that, like what they did with Chipotle. And that's the only thing you're gonna ever gonna see in the game that they'll give to you for free. And it might be even, and it might be even be shit. It won't be even, even decently nice. So yeah, that that's all I wanted to say. That this is completely retarded is what I want to say. I don't know if YouTube will allow that. Uh, me saying that, but it's like again, this is just this to me. It just seems like it's just greed. I guess the only real reason you're gonna buy anything in this game is the characters unless you already have the season pass it's one thing if this game was free or maybe it was worth like twenty dollars that would be something that will make more sense to me but no this is a seven dollar game a seventy dollar game and they're adding mobile shit into the game for cosmetics and though even the way they handle the tekken coins the the premium currency in this game they're handling it like if it's like a mobile game so yeah that's why i think the game is greedy I think that the company is acting really greedy right now for what they're doing in the game. So yeah, that is all. I just wanted to explain that. If you like what you liked, give it a like, <laughs> dislike if you want to, subscribe to receive more of my shit, and yeah, stay tuned, stay safe.